is uh, I only walk in the morning and uh, I was a little busy yesterday but I, I ended up not taking an afternoon walk and so um, I'm five days in now well six today's my day six and uh, this morning I uh, weighed myself in and I was at 150 which means that uh, since Monday uh, when I started my fast, I've dropped 14 pounds. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking like a rail again. Uh, the lowest I ever went was 144, I think it was. 144 was the lowest weight I hit. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm in the process of the process at this point. And um, I might need some support from you all out there. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm I'm staying with it. You know, it's uh, it's it's such a uh, determination um, that I have, but at the same time, I am being uh, realistic with myself. Uh, so I weigh it one moment at a time. That's the only way I know how to live. Anyway, is one moment at a time. I take everything in uh, stride, but I take everything in steps. And as I do that, I let life kind of unfold and present itself. I let the, my universal mind speak to me a lot. That's the value of uh, taking my morning walks because it opens up my channels to receive and having that moment of glory in the sunshine and the fresh air and the birds singing always uh, makes quite an impression. But I traded that off this morning. Um, Instead of doing my uh, urine uh, rub this morning, I took a shower and I shaved. How do I look? Do I look pretty? <laughs> I feel clean. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, this is not easy. You know, anybody who thinks that, uh, you know, making these kind of life changes is easy as fooling themselves. You know, it takes a lot of tenacity. It takes a lot of focus. It takes a, an extreme amount of uh, uh, will and intent uh, to succeed at this pursuit. And I'm, I'm just willing to keep going um, as much as I want to give in. Uh, it's, it's just a funny uh, dichotomy, really. Um, when you're fighting addiction, and I know that's what it really boils down to, and that's what I'm working on conquering, is just the addiction. So, um, yeah, you know, I don't know what to uh, make of it all. Uh, this is only, I'm into my sixth day, and my last fast was 11 days, and uh, I was doing just fine. So, you know, I might just be uh, at one of those speed bumps in the road, you know, the old 59th Street uh, song, 59th Street Bridge song, if you know it. Slow down, you move too fast. Gotta let the morning last, just kicking down the cobblestones. Smiling at life and feeling groovy. Something like that. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, I'm working at it. That's what I'm doing. I'm just working at it one day at a time. And so, you know, my urine therapy, um, I I love my urine therapy. <clears throat> you know, I don't, um, you know, the, the urine uh, that I've been drinking, and you can tell there's detox going on. You know, it's just kind of bitter. And and uh, so no matter how clean I've been, uh, and I've worked at being a, a pretty clean person for a couple years now, um, it doesn't matter. The body stores so much in the cells, in the organs, all through the body. It's just stored in there from years and years and decades of consumption. And so to get to a place where you're ultimately clean is... Um, pretty challenging but more uh, more so like I've been rereading I uh, just finished rereading um, man's higher consciousness last night and um, with what we breathe in alone 
you know, how much garbage that uh, has to be cleaned out of the lungs every day. It has nothing to do with what you put in your mouth. This is just the air we breathe. It's, it's phenomenal how much poison we're dealing with. It's crazy. You know, and I've been doing an awful lot. I do a lot of walking. And um, I'm going to have to change some of that up, I feel. Only because, I mean, where I've been walking. Because um, summer's coming on. It's Memorial Day weekend. And the canal just starts be buzzing like a beehive. And there's just endless traffic. And so doing the walks that I've been doing, you know, around the roads that I walk on, um, I don't think it's going to serve me as much breathing in all that exhaust fume and all that stuff. I'm going to have to start rechanging uh, my thinking and rerouting myself just to kind of stay out of that hubbub a bit, I think. And, uh, yeah, that's okay. We have nature hiking trails here, and, you know, they're lovely. Uh, so, yeah, it's just one day at a time, you know, and taking, uh, taking time to take time. And I'm looking at everything. Uh, I am. You know, I'm just at that uh, point this morning where, you know, I just, uh, the last 12 hours or maybe even the last day, I just, uh, I just felt a little weary, I suppose. And I explained, uh, you know, over a, pr a few prior days that I was having some breathing challenges. And I really do think that is uh, due to the air that I'm, I'm just not getting enough fresh, fresh air, uh, that the, everything grew real fast and, you know, the air is just filled with uh, um, natural growth and exhaust fumes. So I'm just looking at it one day at a time and uh, I'm going to continue uh, doing what I'm doing and uh, make the best of it one day at a time and see how far I can get. Um, without letting my mind uh, trick me out of it. I have to let my mind, uh, you know, be my guide um, because I have to keep uh, assuring myself that what I'm doing is correct. And it's like that. So, with all that being said, I'm going to share a poem. Uh, this one is uh, entitled, The Sands Keep Shifting. <laughs> Sands keep shifting with the flow of the tide, and it feels like quick stand, but you take it in stride. Where is the magic? Mood is on a swing. Do we let go of madness with the presence we bring? I'm into you and you're into me. Is there something missing that we're failing to see? We are both spirit, a movable force, feeling connected to infinite source. Delicate eggshells just floating in space, embryonic in journey, just finding our place. And that's kind of how I feel this morning. I am, you know, uh, the sands are shifting, but I'm... Uh, doing my best to just uh, hold my ground and uh, stay steady on the course. So with all that being said, uh, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day. Uh, peace out. Boom. Hey, you just been loved. <laughs>